today is Thursday, which means I'm one day late on my shop update. But I have really good reasons for that, and that is this guy right here. I have finished filming everything except the opening for the scotch cabinet. Um, the other cabinet is over here right now. Um, and it's almost done. Basically all I have to do with that is put the rest of the hardware back on and that's it. Let's take a look at the cabinet. Let me tell you what I've done since last week. So first of all, last week cabinet didn't have any finish on it, which it does now. So, but before I put the finish on, I chamfered the edges here and there are a couple of different ways of doing this. I used a router with a chamfer bit and I was able to come up to just about here. Uh, in retrospect, maybe what I should have done was to chamfer the case before I glued up the crown molding here and made a pencil line and stopped just before the crown molding. I've never done it that way. I personally never had any issues. I continue the chamfer rest of the way with a combination of a chisel, a bull nose plane, and some sanding and it works out really well. So the chamfer here is all done. Um, I also softened all of the edges on the cabinet which leads me to wanting to open the cabinet up. So here we go. So here's the inside of the cabinet. I've got a really nice bottle of scotch here, two glasses, and um, I think it's just perfectly proportioned for this. Um, as you can see, um, with the finish, the wenge and the walnut just look great. The finish is a couple different parts. So on the case itself, um, as well as the shiplap back, I put on shellac. Now, I don't like putting thick shellac on, so I usually cut mine pretty thin. Uh, I think this was somewhere around uh, one and a half pounds. And then after putting uh, my coats of shellac on the case, I also put shellac on the shiplap back as well. Now, but all of this is a clear 100% de-waxed shellac. If you go to a big box store, you'll see a can of shellac like this. Let me show you. Right, This is not what you want. This is what you want. It's 100% wax-free shellac. And this is the Zinzer's Bullseye Seal Coat. So if you're going to go buy um, the shellac in a liquid form already, you want it de-waxed. Um, if you are going to buy flakes, get de-waxed flakes and then mix those with alcohol for whatever cut you're looking for. So for the cabinet and the door, um, as well as the little stop guy down here, um, I use this Brie Wax. Now Brie Wax, this is the dark brown color and um, this is really great. It, uh, does a couple of different things for the cabinet. It tints the cabinet, so it, it, it tints the walnut. So it's liquid, so uh, it's liquid wax. It goes on, you let it flash, which means that it starts to harden, and uh, then you buff it out. And um, it looks really good. I, I just love what it does to the case as far as the feel, the tint, the color, the whole thing. It does smell a little bit, so you'll need to wait a few days before you bring the piece into the house because the wife uh, may complain. So on the back, um, I screwed the shiplap back in, two screws per panel, and that allows the panel to expand and contract along its width. And I also installed this little uh, bronze hanger, which is perfect for the cabinet. It's, it's hidden behind the crown molding, and you take a screw, put it into your wall, right into a stud, and you hang this guy on top of it, and it's not gonna move. And this here, which is the bottle in the cabinet, is the best single malt scotch I've personally ever had. I'll have a link in the show um, comp, um, the show description for this. Let me show you what the what it is. This is the box, and um, it's an 18-year-old um, Eiley single malt scotch whiskey. I think it's I think it's Eiley is how you pronounce it. I'm probably wrong, but it's an island on the west um, coast of Scotland. So this bottle actually has been opened. Um, my father and I opened it the last time he came to the house and spent a couple days, which was a few weeks ago. And in order 
um, to well to celebrate finishing this cabinet, finishing filming, and uh, I'm gonna take a uh, card out of uh, David Prosciutto's uh, deck here, and I'm gonna drink some scotch. So, cheers. I am ec ecstatic that I have finished this project. Yeah, it is incredibly smooth. It's worth every penny. On other news with this cabinet, I have added four new videos to the website. So that brings everything up from chapter two. Chapter one is the introduction. Haven't shot that yet. From chapter two to chapter 11. So that's 10 videos. It takes you all the way through um, up to the door being hung. So I'm actually almost completely finished of editing this project and getting it online. Now it's already up, some of you have bought it. Um, so I'm telling you guys there's more videos for you to watch. Now because I was filming the cabinet I am, and doing some editing, I got behind. I did not touch the shoulder plane video. So my apologies. Uh, I just really wanted to push through and get this guy done. So hopefully next week I'll have some time to edit that. Uh, since I finished this project and in a couple of weeks, maybe even less, um, all the videos, everything will be up on my website, MM Wood Studio, for this, which means that in less than a year, I have shot, edited, and published three project videos the Gamble House Living Room Armchair, the Gamble House Small Little Side Table, and this cabinet in less than a year, with the fourth project starting shortly. Um, so that was a real big personal goal for me, and I accomplished it, and um, because of that, again, an ode to David Prosciutto, I am the drunken woodworker, I'm going to have a drink of my scotch here. In between last week and this week, I had a discussion with one of my viewers and subscribers to this channel, and um, he didn't know that I actually sell the projects. So, just in case... Um, I had confused anybody, yes indeed, the scotch cabinet, the little table, and the uh, gamble house side table, and the gamble house living room armchair, the project plans are for sale, and the videos on my website, mmwoodstudio.com. Now the gamble house living room armchair, those videos are all here for you guys to watch. The plans are for sale, um, but you know nobody really knows who I am. And thank you to the almost 1,000 subscribers I have on YouTube and the 1,500 people following me on Instagram. But um, I've been building furniture for quite a while. Um, higher end, uh, green and green reproduction work, arts and crafts reproduction work, Nakashima reproduction work. And uh, I've been selling. And I got into this video stuff not that long ago. So that's why I have the whole chair up here, there for you guys to watch. So you can see that I really do know what I'm talking about a little bit. Um, so, you know, yes, the projects are for sale. So that's pretty much it for everything that happened in the shop. Um, oh, and, and Matt and I, Matt Cremona and myself, we filmed the fourth episode of the Matt and Matthew show. Um, look for that next week, I believe. And that will be our fourth episode, which means we've been doing that for two months. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to that one being released. And for us to culminate two months of, of uh, providing uh, episodes to you guys. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, as always, please subscribe to the channel. Share it with all of your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, your colleagues at work, um, and even your enemies. Okay, well, maybe not your enemies. Um, unless they like woodworking, but share with everybody you can. It's really appreciated. Um, followers and comments and you guys, above all, are really appreciated. Um, it really makes doing this a lot of fun. So thank you, each and every one of you. If you're interested in this cabinet, it's up. It's ready for you guys to purchase. As I told you, um, just a couple more videos to go. Plans are up there. Just missing two little parts. And those will be updated, but otherwise it's ready to go. And I do have the hardware kit 
um, up for sale as well. So otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week in your shop. I had a great week in mine, and I'll talk to you next week. Okay, well, I guess I got to finish this. I didn't try to pour much, but um, it would have been good if I had lunch today. Oof.